What's up guys, it's me Vani, welcome back to my channel and today I am back with another video. So, for today's video I wanted to talk about something that has been going on for like way too long. I want to talk today about deadbeat dads. Deadbeat dads, as I said in the beginning, is something that's been going on for like way too long. So, I want to make today's video not too serious and sad, but also I want to, you know, help you guys out there who are dealing with deadbeat dads as well as let you guys know how i dealt with my deadbeat dad and the feelings and the emotions and just everything deadbeat dads make you feel all types of emotions i know i have been there i have done that i'm done with it i just i don't i don't <laughs> i'm done and you're at a point right now in your life where you're like can this just get any easier? Like, why is this so difficult? Why do why is he hurting? First of all, you think all kinds of thoughts. Why is he hurting me so bad? Why doesn't he care about me? Is it me? Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. It's him. It's not you. It's like you didn't do anything wrong. You were brought into this world. You didn't ask to be brought into this world. It takes two to tango. So what's up? Like, I never, I never understood why a dad or anybody actually, because there are also Debbie mothers out there. I never understood how someone could be like, I don't want to take care of this person. I don't care about their feelings. I don't care about, you know, if they do good or if they do bad in life. Like, I just do not care. Like, I never understood how, like, what, what, how. I have a deadbeat dad and our situation is pretty complicated in the beginning of my life he was there he was helpful he actually acted like he cared do i know if he actually cared about me no but what i can tell you is if he did it he sure fooled me how do you stay in someone's life and then after that decide well don't care so i'ma just toodaloo bye no you can't do that to someone especially a young child you know what i'm saying and you know, I've had a talk with my dad, you know, and this is th like, this is how you know he's a true deadbeat who obviously does not care about you. If you have ever had a talk with your dad who was a deadbeat and he has told you, oh, it's your mom's fault that this happened and it's your mom's fault that that happened. He don't care about you. He lying. He lying. He don't care about you. That's exactly what my dad did. He was like, oh, your mom's fault. It's your mom's fault. Blah, blah, blah. Sir, what you're not going to do is disrespect my mom. The one who actually, unlike you, catered to me, took care of me, fed me, put clothes on my back, and whatever else. If you have ever felt like it's your fault that he is not in your life, it's not true. That is not the case. He's just a mess. Another thing is, dads make you feel like, am I worth anything? Like... Am I worth anyone's time? Is anyone ever going to like me? Like, why is it that he feels this way about me? And I'm going to tell you right now, it is not that you're not worth anything. Everybody in this world is worth something. I mean, okay, first of all, look. A lot of, listen, there are a lot of people out there, deadbeats especially, who, you know, you'd be like, this dude ain't worth it. This dude ain't worth that thing. And those people, deadbeat dads, are the ones that, you know, you should be like, okay, I'm a scoop from you. But aside from that, there are a lot of people out there who are worth so, so much. And it's like, it's not you. Again, it's the dad. I've had so many nights where I would cry myself to sleep because I would be like, why doesn't he care? Am I not worth it? Like, why? Everything was why, 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 why? And it is just so emotional. It's just so, un like, it's, it's, it's an emotional phase that you go through. Now, this is a message to all the people who actually have dads in their life. Cherish those moments with your dad. Love your dad. Actually appreciate your dad. And don't don't disrespect him don't take advantage of him or anything because listen you may feel like your dad is ruining your life but actually that is not the case at all 
if anything, your dad is trying to protect you from everything that could hurt you. And honestly, there are a lot of us out there who do not have dads in our lives who are like, man, I wish I could have a dad who would like protect me and, you know, tell me no, say no to boys and tell me, you know, just everything a typical dad does you know spoil me and everything i have done everything in my power to have a great relationship with my dad i have given him chance after chance after chance after chance and he has not changed at all there is absolutely nothing i can do about it i have tried and tried and there's nothing i can do about it and i sit down sometimes and i'm like why can't i have a dad you know why can't i have a dad to just help me spoil me like protect me like do something like you're not doing nothing and i get like it's so it's so annoying when you're like you're not doing anything for me why is it that you feel you can sit here on your big old booty and just not do anything it is a horrible feeling to not have a dad in your life and if he's in and out your life that makes it even worse because then you're confused then you're like wait 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 wait, wait. like whoa like are you here or are you not here are you gonna stay or are you gonna leave like what are you doing and that's the point in my life where i was in i had a crisis moment in my life and my dad chose to not be there for me in that traumatizing moment where i felt like i needed him the most my dad went out his way to marry a whole nother woman and not let me know a few hours until the wedding that is painful let me tell you some girl or boy there's nothing wrong with you it's him and let me tell you how i chose to get over it first of all one thing about me is if i feel like this is something where we can have a conversation about and i need closure about it or something i'm going to have a conversation with you i can hate you with all of my gut i'm still going to try and have that conversation with you and that's what i did i had a conversation with my dad he was just lying on my mom the whole time your mom did this your mom wouldn't let me do that your mom blah 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 get out of here and after that talk with my dad i wasn't a hundred percent honest with him because i felt like the conversation was going nowhere Honestly, the conversation was just going nowhere. So, what I did was I, you know, after the conversation with my dad, I moved. And I decided that I'm going to just stun on him. You know what I'm saying? Show your deadbeat dad that without him, you are successful. You are beautiful. You are, I don't know, just great in whatever it is that you pursue in life that's how i got over my dad i chose to just be successful and whatever because my dad is a type to just prove points and show off you know oh, that's my daughter that's definitely my daughter blah 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 at the end of the day without you honestly my life has been better because what if you weren't doing anything for me now what could you possibly do for me then besides hurt my feelings and act like you want to be my dad and act like you know you actually want to be there for me probably nothing there's no easy way of getting over a deadbeat dad i have been trying to get I, listen look i can tell you right now i am tired <laughs> of this man okay i have tried for years it's about to be five years right now that I have tried to actually deal with him, give him chances, and actually be his daughter. But there is nothing in this world besides himself who can make him decide, hey, I'm going to take care of my kid. Anyways that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to join me on my youtube journey and see more of my content hit the bell for post notifications so you know every time i upload early late whenever just like today
and go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you would want to see me do next. All of my social medias are in the description below and with that being said I'll see you guys in my next video.